Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a review, impressions of a really cool knife I've had in my possession for a little bit now. That uh, It's the Berg Blades Tick. A really neat knife, a really good size. So yeah, let's take a look at this guy. All right, so the Berg Blades Tick, which is a, just an interesting name for the knife, but uh, nonetheless, I like it. It, it, it seems to seems to hit a lot of good things as far as I'm concerned. So the manufacturer is Riot that's made this for Berg Blades and it is designed by Berg Blades. So that is pretty cool. It is a cool flipper. It's got a fuller, so it's got a couple of double actuations. When you see it de deployed, it's got a nice clip point, which a really fantastic fuller with a beautiful hollow grind. Riot did a really nice job as far as that's concerned. This is S90V blade steel. So, um, you know, you're going to have a good edge retention and, and corrosion resistance. The the uh, lock bar in here on this titanium scales, which has a lot of nice weight relief with the uh, carbon fiber, shredded carbon fiber inlay, uh, does have really good access. You can see that nice out, uh, nice little cutaway there as far as looking at the lock bar. It's a little chamfering on top, a little chamfering in there. So the access is really nice once you get there. The, the, the action is beautiful. So, so you get a nice drop and then it falls down really well. And that fuller works really great as far as a high reverse flick and a, and a low reverse flick as well. And then you can, obviously, as long as you get your right there, you don't put pressure on the lock bar. Very easy to move left-handed and you can slow roll it, which is nice as well. And you can do all that left-handed. Mostly, I'm not a left-handed and my hands, my fingers are a little short. So uh, I have no problem, oops, nope. Oh, of course, I'm gonna lie here. No problem reverse flicking it unless if I hold it high, a little it's a little you know you can either hold it high or you can use the uh, the, the the clip and so the i'm i'm, I'm not, i promise you I, it's been a while since I, I guess i've garried it and i'm not like i should have flicked it a few times before we started the review here but um get a little rusty and then all of a sudden you got to get back to you know how to flick it and everything but it it it, it reverses flick and front flips really really well left-handed i like that the action's smooth buttery smooth i did put skiffs in this which made it Oh, that much nicer. This is my knife. It is my collection. It's one of the knives that's staying in my collection because I really enjoy it. It's very creamy, buttery, smooth. Those skiffs just made it even, even better. I love the satin finish. I love the fuller. I love the jimping on top. Very aggressive. Uh, but, you know, you can move your finger over and it doesn't shred or file away your skin. But when you push down, it's got traction. It holds you in place. I like that. There's even a little cutaway here for when you're flipping it up here. The flipper is pretty close. It's a little bit above there, so you can get a nice actuation. The light switch works really well. The push button works really well. And then, you know, the reverse flick with the with the finger or the thumb, oh, get in there. The thumb works really well. And I've noticed if I put a little pressure on there, it's a little harder to get out. But if you keep your fingers on the clip, pretty easy to thumb flick, right? So that's nice. I mean, the only thing that could make this even better is a bolster, but it's, you know, I can't complain. I'm not always into every knife having to be a bolster, but uh, I like frame locks a lot. Beautifully rounded all the way around. There's no sharp points anywhere. The clip here as well is not bad. It was a little sharp right there. I did file that down a little bit. So that was a little pointy and I wish that was, you know, that could be a little nicer, I would say, if future of reference that would be cool um, the cutaway in here was a little sharp as well I did file that down as well and that you know that's better this right here is done nicely the clip has good access it's good even ramp going in and out so that's nice this part was pretty sharp as well I had to file that down so there's a couple small spots you may never notice those depending on how you handle the knife so I did just because I check everything out right I'm kind of a it's kind of what what you do when you buy knives and collect knives and do reviews, right? You you always look for all the little details, right? And sometimes those details are things that some people will never notice. And sometimes they're details that e almost everybody notices, right? So there you go. It's got a nice fuller. You can definitely choke up. So it gives you lots and lots of room back here. Even though this is kind of guiding you in here, you could absolutely go past it. So if you want it to do a nice long, uh, um, you know, grip, the center of the knife is about right there, so you know it feels pretty balanced here, but you can choke up if you want to get close. You can do a little, come up here and do a little pinch grip. You can come up and do a little whatever you need it to do, so that's nice. The hollow grind comes to a beautiful thin edge, so it's nice and sharp. Tip, pretty strong going in there. It does come to a very fine tip here at the end, but it's still a pretty strong knife. So you, you're gonna have some strength as far as that's concerned for poking into dog food, cat food, fertilizer, mulch, cases of water, whatever you're doing 
to use your tool, right? Hidden hardware on the clip, which is cool. Screw goes all the way through through the back spacer. There's two screws on this side. There's a screw on this side. It's not a captive pivot, so you know Loctite one and the other, so you still have to deal with that. Um, that is some cost saving sometimes not doing captive pivot. I, I, I like captive pivots personally, and I get why people don't do it because it does save a good amount on cost. But it would be nice, right? That's just my little thing. When you're at this premium level, it just I feel like a little captive pivot pivot would be just a little bit nicer. I don't know. Uh, love the action. It is nice, big, robust blade, and it does have beautiful action when it comes down. Uh, I did tune this to be control drop shut, so you know it, it. It could have been completely guillotine or drop shut, but I wanted it to be a little more so. It hasn't broken in since I I did the Loctite last because uh, um, I hadn't Loctite it since I got it, and then the pivot traveled a little bit. And I put the Loctite on there and I let it dry, and I didn't carry it for a couple of days because I wanted to make sure it was really nice and dry. And uh, it was a little bit tighter at first than I, what I thought, but I feel like it's going to break in pretty quickly. And I'll have that control drop shut action here again. Uh, so very comfortable, very comfortable. I like that. So I was I was doing that right now, flicking it a lot because I was hoping that it would happen. It would break in as we're talking. And it didn't. But, you know, it's going to be there. So I love this. Nice and centered, beautifully centered. Let's listen to that click, the, thumb, uh, the detent. It's not a super loud, crispy detent, but you can hear it. Kind of a thump and so some people that's dis disappointing they want to hear really crisp detent but you know I'm, I'm okay with that i mean as long as it's nice and solid there's no de detent play there's no pivot lash you usually putting skips in if you had any pivot lash it would go away uh obviously there's no blade play it's in there nice and solid lock up we're good 20 percent got a steel bar uh over a steel bar insert over travel stop so that's nice pivot collars on both sides which is cool um, I like the fuller. Like I said, it's a nice aesthetic. It's a pretty looking fuller. It's really beautifully rounded. It almost has kind of a, just a really cool look to it. Uh, more than the typical fuller, right? It comes all the way out, which gives it sort of a, kind of a, like a real strong profile with that clip point. I like that. I like that a lot. So cool knife, cool knife indeed. It's, oops, it's very comfortable in hand like i said there's no hot spots anywhere it's really comfortable even the clip for the most part is pretty cool except that little bit spark was was super sharp when i first got it i did sand that down so it's way better now um but that's really nice really really nice so there you go that's the clip right there for you really comfortable little knife i think it's pretty cool everything about it i'm digging so yeah Material wise titanium carbon fiber inlay nice uh nice you know hollowed out scale there um lock bar in here steel bar insert um s90v blade steel cage ceramic ball bearings with skiffs now uh back spacer there's no lanyard uh hole so that's not a priority nice deep pocket carry clip so you're going to get about this far deep so it's almost completely hidden but not all the way which is not bad with the hidden hardware so i like i like all of that the opening and closing is just really very enjoyable very pleasing it's very fun to fidget i really really enjoy carrying this knife so yeah let's get into the measurements let's see how heavy this knife is i think it was like four four and a half ounces something like that i don't know 4.8 ounces yeah so it's it's not a super light knife it's 4.8 ounces so you know keep that in mind if you're looking for a super light knife i mean i don't mind that personally i think that's perfectly fine right uh Sorry, we got some stuff on the table, crumbs or something. Uh, or no, that looks like sawdust. Oh, I was packaging something. Yeah, I had some packaging stuff, so it's probably cardboard. All right, so overall length, this is just past eight inches. We are looking at a knife that's like eight and one sixteenth, maybe of an inch. All right, overall handle length, you're looking for grip. You've got about from here to here, you're about four and three quarters, maybe four and seven eighths. If you do the finger choil, you know, the finger choil right up here, you, you're about five, a four and three quarters. So a lot of, lot of grip. From the tip to the back of the handle, you're looking at three and a half inches right there. Uh, just barely under three and a half inches. Overall cutting length, we're looking at three and three eighths of an inch, right? So pretty good. I mean, it's uh, at four point, that's a 4.8 ounces. Yeah, so it's, it's not, the ratios aren't perfect, but they're not terrible, right? All right, blade stock thickness. It's not a skinny boy, so let's see. 157 thousandths of an inch so it's definitely not super super thin yeah 157 158 thousandths of an inch so definitely a little little on the 
thicker side as far as that's concerned, but that hollow grind really, really works well. It comes in to become quite a slicer, so I like that. I like that a lot. All right, blade, uh, the category, as far as the knife. So this knife was brand new, was running 325, and that's what you paid. So this is definitely in what I would call the higher end. It's the bottom of the higher end, $300 to $600 range. Uh, you, on secondary market, you can probably get it cheaper, but uh, really, really great knife. I like this knife a lot. Uh, that's, you can get some higher end versions. He had a, a Damascus steel and some other fancy ones, and that definitely puts you over the $600 range, but definitely in the higher range. Purpose, uh, EDC hard use collection piece. Absolutely could be a collection piece. Any knife you want can be a collection piece. I don't think budget or super budget knives are collection pieces ever, personally. But you can make any knife you want a collection piece. This one I, is reasonable to be a collection piece, I think, for many people, right? You can, now, whether it's a collection piece that you safe queen or a collection piece that you use, I think it for most people, this could probably be a collection piece that they use. Some people might have it as a safe queen. Totally get that. For me, this would, every knife I own, every knife that's in my collection, I carry, right? Now, I'm not going to go out and chopping wood with this thing. I'm not going to go cutting steel wires with it. I have work knives for that, right? Um, I have a Leatherman whatever other tool I need to use at the time. Use the right tool for the right job. I think this is a great tool for getting in the boxes, cat food, dog food, fertilizer, mulch, whatever Whatever you're going to use, this is a great knife. I like this. Uh, definitely would be EDC, and because the frame lock's in there pretty solid, I would I would hard use. Now, it's S90V. It's not going to be tough like 3V or MagnaCut or you know 20CV or M390. This is definitely more of a slicer kind of knife. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, ergos and feel, overall design. How does it open and close? It's phenomenal. The flipper, really nice. You can do the push button, you can do the light switch, and then the fuller works really well. Reverse, low, oops, if you can get in there, I'm trying to do this, uh -huh, I'm trying to do it for the camera. Low, and then you can do the thumb over here. It works really nicely, and left-handed works pretty well as well. You know, and you can get in here for the thumb and the flipper. So I like that. I like that. It works really, really well. I mean, for a frame lock, you know, you always got to be careful. Put, don't put your direct pressure on there. For my big meaty fingers, I don't cover up the entire scale, which is nice. Uh, sometimes that can be frustrating when you're trying to grip a knife to do a reverse flick because your, your thumb is like the size of the entire knife. And, well, it makes it difficult. So not in this case for this knife right here. I just missed the flipper. So opening and closing is really good. I like that. I like. I don't. I don't care that there's a uh, no lanyard. Uh, to me, I don't use lanyards, and I'm perfectly fine with this knife. Love the hidden hardware. Love the look of the clip. Just wish that wasn't so sharp. I did fix it though, so for me, it's fine. Right. I've, I've addressed the issues that I had on here. Uh, uh, I, I like the clip itself. It is a pretty deep clip, but deep clip works well when you're trying to reverse flick and get in there. Sometimes that can be really helpful. So I like that uh, fidget factor as far as I'm concerned. So you got a great flipper. Works really nicely. Now, some people might like a super crisp detent, so maybe you feel like it's not crisp enough. You can tighten that up. I like the detent like it is. Um, I like I like the fuller that's in here, as long as I can get my finger and not put my finger on the lock bar. That works really well. You can hit it low. You can hit it high. You can go back and forward. So, to me, this is like a five. This is a five because it works really well. You've got all this area to travel up and down to use that fuller, and it works anywhere from down here to all the way up here, right? And it allows you to slow roll all sorts of stuff. So I like that. I like that. I think that's good. Uh, so fidget factor scale is going to be a five on this one. Now, as far as fidgety goodness, fidgety goodness, um, I'm going to give it a 99. It's not quite a hundred. I feel like I'm taking a point off just because of that. Uh, even though that doesn't get in the way, but sometimes it does, right? Sometimes it does. It's, it's just not quite as comfortable. It does. I can feel it. It gets on here and you're like, ah, you know, after a while it can be just not. It, it can be annoying. So I will say it's a 99. It's an A plus for sure. Is this knife recommended? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it, I, it's, it's staying in my collection. I enjoy this knife. I feel like it, for my large hands with meaty fingers, this is a really great knife. I feel like longer hands, bigger hands, you would all enjoy this. I, there's a lot to be liked about this. As long as the aesthetic are pleasing to you and you like the size, this is a good knife. So... That's my recommendation. I'm very much in favor of it. It's two thumbs up. Really do like it. Yeah. I'd love to hear your comments, your thoughts on this knife. Why don't you, you know, feel free to post down below. I'd love to hear that. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. All right. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, informative, or entertaining, 
would you mind hitting that like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, maybe hit the subscribe button down below as well. Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel. It helps the channel produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you to everyone out there who watches the videos, who likes the content, who likes the, the, the information I put out there. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Um, if you maybe are part of the live stream, you put comments in there. Thank you. Thank you. All of you. Also, a big shout out. Thank you to the channel members. Appreciate you guys. You guys help out so much. Uh, you allow me to do things way sooner than I ever thought I'd be able to in the, as far as this channel is concerned. Uh, with your support, I am able to do more things. So thank you to you guys. Also, you guys have been so generous with the memberships. I want to be generous back. So I do two things for the members as a special way to say thank you. I do a once a month members exclusive giveaway. Usually it's a much nicer knife than a budget banger. Nothing wrong with the budget bangers. I love to give those out every week to uh, on each of the live streams. But for the channel members, I do something special as long as, you know, since they've been continuing to be so special as far as their memberships back. So I like to, to show my gratitude for that. As long as I, I can do that, as long as you guys are being generous, so thank you. Also, the second thing is I like to give every brand new channel member a sticker, a channel sticker, and say thank you and write them a little note. So if you're a brand new channel member, Email me with your name and address. I'd love to mail you a sticker to say thank you. Thank you for being part of Rob's Nerdy Knives in the channel. I appreciate you. If you've been a channel member all this time, you never asked for a sticker and you're a member right now, or you were a member and became a member again and you're a member right now, and you never got a sticker, but you want a sticker, email me too, and I'd be happy to mail you a sticker and a little thank you card as well. Thank you to everyone out there. I appreciate you. And if you didn't know, by the way, real quick, the link for the memberships is down in the description, there's a link for channel members. I have th three different tiers. Would love to have you. Don't ever feel obligated if you don't want to. But if you would, I would be honored. So thank you. Yeah, I do appreciate every one of you guys for that. And then if you haven't already, maybe check me out over on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.